group of us uh, decided to bring our hammocks out today to have a little test run before our uh, camp out in two weeks. So we're going to see some gear and have some fun, I hope. Well, we've, uh, <coughs> we've set up our little hammock village, so let's go have a look and see what there is. Here's uh, Blue Nose Rum Lover. Got the Eno hammock, sheepskin liner, and the Hennessy Hex. Want to talk about your setup, Jim? Oh yeah, just uh, just trying the new webbing here, where I'm just using a uh, water knot to create the loop, and then down here doing a clove hitch for for the ring. And we're just talking about eliminating the ring and just tying the clove uh, hitch right on the on the uh, clip here of the of the Eno to save some weight or save some space, simplify things. And we just rigged up uh, on the on the Hennessy hex type. Just you have a uh, had straps to tie the clips, but we just uh, strung a, a ridge line here by Chris and he had a couple of Prusik knots underneath, so we just have the center ridge line here. And uh, the only thing that's really holding it together is uh, just some Prusik knots here that we have uh, clipped around the tree, have it looped, and then we have uh, the tarp tensioner, which is another Prusik knot, and they've got the same thing at the other end, so this is definitely, uh, you know, saving some space from uh, my previous setup five minutes ago so pretty happy with that cool yeah and the hobo stove worked well too so. okay. just a little lunch we had lunch here yeah a little bit of lunch yeah so it's working out pretty good cool thanks jim nice. now we're at uh, blue nose climbers little hammock village he built here he brought in one two three four five hammocks Want to start with this one, Chris? Okay. Coleman tarp. For camp, car camping. But it makes a nice canopy for the hammock. So in here we have a, uh, what do you call it, a parrot bay? A parrot bay. It's an Eno knockoff. With homemade underquilt. And oh yeah, you want to talk about the, the underquilt? That's really cool. It's made from a poncho liner and has velcro uh, shock cord to get the tension under you and it's adjustable up and down to where you want it and then shock cord to gather the end whether it's on your shoulders or your feet so when you get in it So now I can adjust it to where I want it, under my shoulders, down to my feet. Chris has got a height problem, which I don't have. Well, I have the opposite. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I go the other way. Yeah. I find it more comfortable. So I'm just going to come around there and have a look at the other side, the uh, modifications. This was an army poncho we bought at the uh, surplus store. if I can get this yeah so with it doubled and I can put extra insulation in if it's colder weather mylar down uh, synthetic sleeping bag spare clothing whatever I need very cool it is very warm I was in it a little while ago all right The next one we're going to look at, we'll look at the, uh, we'll look at your winter setup you got here. So, for winter camping, um, normally this would be almost to ground and the ends closed off, but it does give me lots of room up inside. Um, I have a Skeeter Beater set for winter camping. I can open the netting and put my insulation under the bug net. During the bug season, I just flip it over and it 
good stuff. And uh, this is a mech scout tarp? Scout tarp. Uh, guide tarp. Guide tarp. Very large. Mount, mount equipment co-op. It's huge. It nice must, in winter. It looks, yeah. Much nicer in winter. Cool. <clears throat> well, let's look at your homemade job you got over here. Chris's skills. <laughs> sewing. First sewing job. So it's got a stretchable skeeter netting. And again, can be flipped over in the winter. Yeah. That's the nice thing about the being flexible like that is you can use that for your for your underquilt or whatever. Improvising underquilt. Well see, you got whoopee slings on this one. Whoopie slings and the AM steel shackles. So the open the shackle and the hammock comes down, close it back up for transport so I don't pull it through. Awesome. That so when cool. I arrive, I put my whoopie sling up or my slap straps or whatever I've used. Excellent. Those are homemade. Homemade. Whoopies. Yeah. It's all homemade. Good stuff. And uh, and I just with the whoopee or the uh, daisy chain. Uh, I've been trying some whoopies. Hmm. Neat. All right. What do we have left here? All right. The little